Hi, I'm Mike from Thorovox, and this is the Thorovox ET 4.2, which has a bunch of different extra features. Um, the first thing that we added was a resonance control for the filter, and um, we also added an effects loop, so you could insert effects in the signal chain of the instrument and have them before the filter and before the internal spring reverb. And we also added a headphone output jack, and that's a complete separate with a separate volume control. And on the front panel, we added a stereo output that has both oscillators as separate left and right channels. So the filter resonance control is pretty cool, and um, that accentuates the peak frequency that the filter cutoff is set to. Um, it's probably easier to see on the oscilloscope. The external input jack can be used to input um, any number of external audio sources, such as a bass guitar, guitar microphone, or um, something like this iPod. The external audio input can also be used as an effects loop return along with the send jack next to it. When something is plugged into the send jack, the audio from the two internal oscillators is cut off from continuing to the filter and spring reverb and diverted to whatever's plugged in. In this case, I have a delay unit plugged in. And then if I take the audio output from the delay unit and bring it back in to the external input, the audio can now continue through the filter and through the spring reverb and now out to the amplifier. And this is pretty cool because it allows you to insert the effect in the appropriate place before the filter and before the reverb so whatever effect you're using can be filtered and can be modified with the internal reverb. Another feature of the ET4.2 is the independent oscillator outputs, and that's a stereo jack on the front panel, which has the output of each oscillator separate on left and right channel. These are pre-filter and pre-reverb, and you can use these to send to uh, the left channel and the right channel on a recording, or to different effect chains or to two different amplifiers on stage at the same time for a very cool stereo effect. Another one of the things that you can do with the individual oscillator outputs is to just take one of the separate outputs, in this case I have oscillator 2's output, and run it through an effect and back in to the ET4 so only one of the two oscillators has an effect on it and the other one doesn't. Thank you. 
features that are on the ET 4.2 and all of those features are also found on the ET 4.3 in addition to some other features so check out that video and check out the video for the ET 4.1 as well and to see more pictures and details of this and the other instruments check out Theravox.com. Thanks.